All right, we know things are getting crazy. Things are getting bad because... You guys treat everybody like this? Walmart is losing their mind. Mm -hmm. Now granted, we already talked about some of the crazy things that's going on at Walmart at the self-checkout with the Affirm buy now, pay later loan situation. Mm -hmm. But you weren't with me on the video where I was explaining how Walmart has a new policy now where they want uh, the you, the shopper, uh -huh. to... Um, in self-checkout, look and see if anybody's stealing and then let them know. Well, you get like a gift card if you rat yeah. somebody out. And, and that's the thing. That's what I was talking snitches about. Snitches get gift cards? Well, yeah, snitches get stitches. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it's funny because the comment section, I, I you need to read the comment section okay. on my video because okay. there's, a, there's a line drawn in the sand and some people are like me and some people are not. Mm -hmm. And... I honestly, I did not expect the comments to come back the way that they did. But the crazy part about it is like, you're going to go in there. I was joking that they're going to give you a mop and a broom and you can start cleaning up the store for them too. Uh-huh. Because you're pretty much doing all their jobs for them. But after all that, you walk out, you know what they're going to do? They're going to treat you like a criminal. Mm -hmm. They're going to treat you like a criminal. Mm -hmm. And they're already doing it. This woman, what's up? No, what you're about this to say. This woman, she got, she's on this video. I'm not a thief. I'm a Christian. You said anything about me being a Christian? You did, because you pulled me back here like I stole something. This is the most embarrassing thing. This Can on I... the bottom has not been scanned, man. They're pulling her cart apart, mm -hmm. her whole cart apart. She said it took all her stuff out, all her food, put it on the floor. Uh, number one, you better give me all put brand it on new the floor. stuff. <laughs> all brand new stuff. Put it on the stuff. floor. And then accused her of not scanning something that she did, mm -hmm. and he was like, Oh, he didn't. He won't apologize. He's like, oh, I just misunderstood what she said. Yeah. No, they were scanned. I did scan them on the gun. I did scan them. She just told you. She's showing you. I scanned them, sir. Apology. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would like an apology. Can I get an apology? And I'm getting a. And um, took her ID, tried to hold her hostage, mm -hmm. and. Um, Come to find out, she you paid for everything. Mm -hmm. No, they were. Yeah, interestingly enough, we haven't been to Walmart in a while. Correct. We're at the Target today. That was an absolute disaster. Uh, it's dumpster fiery as it was on the twenty third. Yeah, if you haven't seen the video on Patreon about Target, go check it out. There's a link in the description to go to, go to Patreon. But uh, I see here there's a there's an image about empty like the shelves being wiped out at Walmart. Mm -hmm. They don't know if it's just post Christmas or what, but yeah. entirely wiped out. Yeah, as it was today in Target. Oh, Target was. Oh yeah. Well, see, Target was a mess, but I didn't notice the shelves. Oh no, some shelves were completely wiped out. Other ones, I mean, we're walking through, and I'm like, babe, they've got lingerie hanging over here next to the eye eye wash stuff, the saline solutions and stuff. You've got Pampers pushed into where the like. No, I did see a bunch of stuff all, are, all over. The all place. over the place, and just everything again looked ransacked, but. In the makeup department, because a lot of people will go to the makeup and body health whatever section for gifts for people, because it's easy to be like, oh, here's a gift bag, here's a bath bomb, here's a new face wash, here's a whatever. Completely empty shelves over there. We couldn't find loofahs. Do you no, know? We stopped for loofahs. Oh, <laughs> we don't have loofahs. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, uh, they might they have probably, some here. They probably have, uh, yeah. But, um... But either way, uh, interestingly enough, we did come across a shortage situation twice. Now, the first time, I didn't really think much of it. But uh, the second time, I was like, huh, that's kind of interesting. So we were at Bucky's. Mm -hmm. And we walked into Bucky's. And Bucky, Bucky's was strategic about how they worded this. Uh -huh. And yes. they said... Manufacturer... Um, order, I don't, manufacturer ordering or something? No, I don't remember how they said it. I don't remember how they phrased they that. I should have taken a picture. They didn't say shortage. Yeah. They didn't manufacturing say, issues is manu what they said. Manufacturing issues. They didn't have any ketchup. Ketchup? Ketchup. Chicken wraps. Oh, it was, it was more than just ketchup. There were three ketchup. things. It was ketchup, chicken wraps, and chips. So you, if you've been to Bucky's, they have their homemade chips. So they were out of their homemade chips. Their, what do they call them? They call them something, Bucky something. Everything's Bucky something. Yeah, I don't there. remember what they, they call They have them. the chips. They were out of ketchup, and they were out of chicken ranch wraps or chip, chicken something wraps. But they called it manufacturing uh, manufacturer, 
What did I just say? Issue. Issues. Which means, to, in my opinion, that they blamed it on the manufacturer because if you go to any stores anywhere, there's plenty of ketchup everywhere. There's, you know, plenty of potatoes everywhere. The the chicken wrap, I, what part were you missing from the manufacturer? The chicken or the wrap? Like, what came first? Or so not? I thought it was just ketchup. No. Mm-hmm. And then I'm thinking to myself, that's kind of strange. It's kind of interesting. It's really specific. But if you are and you use a certain type of ketchup, then I get it. Yeah. But we end up at a Love's truck stop uh-huh. uh, to fuel up, uh, use the restroom, and uh, play the Powerball. And try to play Powerball to see if we can win $650 something million dollars before tax. Um, and uh, that was a little bit of a disaster in itself. The men's restroom was r- terrible. I had to push the red button on the way out. I was like, this is bad. Bad. Oh, the girls was fine. One of the things that I to- uh, not toilet paper, um, hand tissue, whatever is it called? Paper towels? Yeah. Paper towels. They were out of the paper towels, but everything else was fine. But at least in my stall. I didn't go in the There's, other three, though. I couldn't go in mine because they were all out of order. There was only one available, and then you had urinals, and it was... Well, so the good news, you're was, a guy, and if you're tall enough, you've got a sink. For was, the ladies, though, we're a little out of luck. So, I, so then I come out, and the line is long. There's only one cashier. She's about to lose her shit. Oh, yeah, she was not happy. Not yeah, at all. She said, who wants smoke? And the guy in front of us, we were talking before you got there. I was, yeah, I saw that. And, and he goes, man, well, what kind of truck stops only going to have one cashier? So then she leaves, mm-hmm. and just leaves. And we're like, where does she go? She goes to the back to go get her sister, yeah. who works there too. Yeah. And comes back. She goes, you know, some people just like to hang out in the back. They don't want to go to work. And she goes, not her. That's my sister. She's fine. I'm talking about the other ones. The manager. <laughs> oh, she was heated. She was so mad. Because I was like, Kat, are you having a good night? She's like, not really. Because <laughs> I was trying to like, because you, you could tell by her face that she was not in a good mood. And so I was trying to like be nice. She's and be trying like, to de-escalate the situation. I was trying to de-escalate the situation. Because I look behind me. There's like, a, it's at least 10 to 12 deep behind me. And it's truckers holding their snacks and their whatever. They need to get back on the road. Because, you know, if you drive a semi-truck or a delivery truck, you have time frames you have to hit. And spending 30 minutes standing in line at a Love's truck stop is not going to help you get there on time that place especially was in holiday a traffic mess yeah but the guy in front of me as i'm standing there before you come out he goes he goes yeah how can you have one cashier at a truck stop he goes this is this is crazy mcdonald's is out of ketchup how are they out of ketchup huh yeah, so i'm thinking <laughs> all right, maybe there's something more to this whole ketchup shortage situation or maybe it's a tennessee thing well no because bucky's is bucky in no Georgia. it wasn't tennessee no because yeah. bucky's is in so Georgia. I, I don't know i don't know um, well, when we go to eat tonight, we'll be like, uh, maybe, maybe do you have ketchup? Maybe it's not a supply issue. Maybe it's an employment issue. And the folks who are in charge of placing these orders aren't doing their jobs. Mm-hmm. Just as we saw, they're not doing their jobs at the register. Which well, that, normally we wouldn't care if there's a self-checkout. We would have yeah. did it, but we needed the Powerball. So. Well, that's what I was going to say, or that's what I was saying at Bucky's is maybe it's not a manufacturer issue. Maybe it was a they under-ordered not expecting as much foot traffic as they got this holiday season because there were a lot of people on the road because a lot of, again, airports had to cancel flights because of fog or whatever reasons and more people were were driving i think because people learned last well, year a, don't put all your eggs they in don't the have enough pilots basket. they don't have enough pilots yeah they don't have enough pilots yeah. they don't have enough air traffic control the weather was sketch mm-hmm. i'm about to and, pick somebody up uh, and and more than likely uh, they were low on seats. That's exactly what I was going to say. When they're you have to give away a, seats. Because they're giving away a free seat if you're overweight and so you can't buy it anymore because they gave it away. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah so there's that. Yeah, that's that. So, when your price of a ticket goes up, it's because they have to recoup the money they gave away uh, just in think, free seats. Just think, you would pay more to fly than someone else because they... Anyway. Crazy stuff, folks. I saw a thing where this lady took her three kids uh, on a flight or to the airport, and she's like, I need one ticket, and they're, they're, you've got four people. And she's like, oh, they're just going to sit next to me. And I don't know. Have you seen it? I should have sent it to you. It was on TikTok. And the attendant or whatever the person's called that sells the tickets was like, well, you have to buy seats for them. And she was like, why? Is it because I'm not overweight? <laughs> And I was like, I don't think this is how this works, but I understand where she's going with it. Like if, if, if you weigh a certain amount of weight and therefore you get two seats or three seats because of your weight, why not just add the weight of your children and yourself all together and say, we weigh the same amount between all of us. We should get free seats. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, 2024 is going to be wild and crazy. Mm-hmm. We only got like six days until it yep. comes. And it's going to be, you thought, you thought Target 
and Bud Light and Ford made some, some slip ups in 23. Just wait till 24. 24, they're like, hold my beer. American Airlines, Delta, Spirit. American Airlines, like, hold my, Airlines, Spirit. Well, Spirit hold my never. beer. Spirit's like, oh, you want like a back to your seat? That's extra. <laughs> That's extra. So I got stopped coming out of Walmart, walking out with my car. They pulled me back here and made me come to this room area. And they're saying that I didn't pay for something. Everything in my cart was scanned for and paid for. I did it with the gun because there was 20,000 people in line. So they're saying I didn't pay for something. They took my ID and were trying to take me in a room. And everything here has I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, now no breath, flow dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake fans go pop.